This is Ted Monick working on another suit in his shop in the basement of his parents' home. As you can probably tell, this is no ordinary suit Ted is making. It's a suit of armor. I've always had an interest in history, and uh, particularly military history. Um, through my connections with various historical recreation organizations, uh, I became interested in armor and decided that I thought I'd try making it. Ted's blacksmithing skills needed to make the armor are mostly self-taught. He's very particular about his work and uses tools that were once used by a turn-of-the-century master armorer from France. It takes roughly three months of painstaking work to make a suit of armor, but when it's finished, it is more than a piece of steel. It is something Ted loves. The grandeur of it, nice big shiny piece of armor. I look at it and I don't really see a piece of steel. I see more of a piece of art, uh, the metal as I see it now is so fluid, whereas before I saw it as something hard and rigid and unyielding. Now I can make it go where I want it to as long as I stay within its bounds, and uh, it's just such a beautiful thing as I see it. Making the suit may not be as hard as putting it on. It weighs about 80 pounds, and there are more than a dozen separate pieces. Girlfriend Kathy Festerman lends a hand. There's also a historical way to put a suit of armor on, beginning with the undergarments. Uh, next, they put on their the feet, and then the lower leg, and the upper leg. After the legs, they might either put the breastplate on first or the arms. And uh, then they would put on their uh, helmet or their gauntlets next and be all armored. This isn't exactly like slipping into your Sunday go to meeting suit, is it? Sunday go to jousting suit. <laughs> Ted's been making armor for two years and says he'd like to be able to continue it for the rest of his life. A student at UNC Charlotte, Ted is also a member of the Society for Creative Anachronism, an organization that shares a love for the chivalry, honor, and pageantry of the days of the knights. That's it. What period of time does this suit of armor represent? This particular suit comes from about 1490 in Germany, and at that time it's when armor reached its height of perfection. How do you mean? Uh, it was its lightest, but it offered the most protection of any armor before it and eventually any armor that would be to follow it. Do people think you're crazy, though, sometimes for dressing up like this and going out? Uh, more people come by and say, boy, that's neat, I'd like to try it. So uh, maybe there are a lot of crazy people out there. <laughs>